What is the matter? Oh, to quote the What am I going to do now? <laughs> Please tell me, what is it? Your tears are breaking my heart. Ah, no, 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 my daughter. Do not let your heart break. If it breaks, with what will you feel for me on that day? What day? <laughs> no, please, talk to me. Has your sister been back returned from school? She has not yet come back from school. Take me inside. I want to rest. You were about preparing yam. Yes, ma'am. I was just peeling it. Okay. Take some dry fish from the basket that hangs over the fireplace in the kitchen. Make it into a delicious yam orange so that you, Obiama, your sister, and myself, we will all eat together like one family. But first, take me inside. My bones are screaming for rest. <laughs> Happened. I ran into Joseph the Basque repair on my way back from school. I said I should hurry home that he saw her grandmother walking and weeping along the village road. Okay, Mama. Go and change out of your school clothes and get some rest. Don't worry about me, Alice. She's sleeping now. What? Is everything alright? Because the way they told me, I thought something terrible has happened. She came home in tears. Jesus. When I asked to know why, she begged me to cook a tasty meal for all of us to share. I don't know what that means or what to make of it. But I have obeyed her. That is why I'm cooking. Yoma, stop it. Stop it! Stop! Sorry, it's coming. I can feel it. Is the darker twin sister of joy. They are close siblings. When I see sorrow, I also see joy. They are never too far apart because they are twins, only not identical twins. I hate sorrow. And I already have sorrow. Any kind of father will have a father who has no plan. Okay, for his two daughters. That is enough sort of a lifetime. We don't need more. I know. Let's dwell no more on talk of sorrow. Let us not acknowledge the salute of sorrow before she has even waved her hands at us. All right? Go. Go and change out of your clothes. Go do so, baby.
This is no longer like the olden days when life was simple. When we could borrow fire and families it from one plate. Nowadays, Could no longer borrow fire. Families don't eat together and things have gone mad. Mama, hmm? you started to. Which one is fire can be borrowed? Don't you know? When we were little girls, we used to borrow fire from the fireplace of our neighbors who were already cooking. We cut long and dry bamboo sticks. We make them into a bunch of fire sticks. We poke them into our neighbor's fire. We hurry home to start our own fire with the fire that we have borrowed with our own fire sticks. <laughs> Jane, don't you like my little narrative? No. You're just making small talk to pass the time. My sister and I are still all ears. Waiting to know why you came home today crying. Ne, please. Has something happened to our father in the city? Tell us. We can bear it. We're adults now. Well, if that's the news, then it won't be a surprise. After all, they say he fights all the time at the city motor park where he loads vehicles. So, it won't be a surprise. Be patient, my children. My talk is for after the food. Stop doing this, please. The suspense and pain of waiting for this sad news is tearing us apart. I'll begin to scream and have the pain if I have to wait any longer. thank you for the news I have about to break to them. I am sad, but take all the praise. It is your will.
What do you feel? Don't you feel my death? The doctor said, I'll be dead in three months' time or thereabouts. If the breast is not cut off entirely. No. No. The same breasts I put in your mouth when your mother abandoned you due to the frequent quarrels she had with your father. <laughs> he said they would take me to the big city, put me in a big hospital, Cut off my small breast with a big knife. If not, I will die soon. He called the name of my killer Breast. allow sadness to overwhelm you. I will not die without a fight. Even if I die after fighting, whilst lying in my grave, I will tell myself that I did my best. The doctor said I have to have an operation. I will allow them to cut off my one of my, my, my precious and ancient breasts. If that is going to make me well and keep me alive so that I will see the two of you get married, so be it. I have no other dreams. I have no other expectations at my age. All I want to see is the two of you get married and settle down. That is why I am asking God to give me more days to my life. Jane, your sister is in there crying her eyes out. Let us go and console her. Let us go and try to tell her to stop crying. Jane! 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 It's a chance. So whatever it is, smile. Hmm? Smile, my dear. It's all right. Don't cry, my child. Everything will be all right. 
everything will be fine. The lump on our left breast is malignant, very malignant, and we discovered it too late. If the entire breast is not cut off completely because the cancer cells have already started spreading, I'm afraid it will lead to her death quicker than we expect, especially considering her age and other health problems here and there that come with age. Doctor. How much does the operation cost? It varies. It varies. It is slightly cheaper in a general hospital. But I cannot advise your family to take her to a general hospital, considering so many reasons. I believe that a, a good private hospital will just be perfect. How much, doctor? Oh, for everything. The drugs, the surgery, um, the accommodation, etc. Well, you have to make an initial budget of 200,000 naira. Or a little more. Are you alright? Oh, please, young girl, let this not be in my office, okay? You should be happy that your mother's illness has a cure. Huh? <laughs> After the surgery, she will bounce back to life. Okay? Please, it's okay. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. Just stop crying. Huh? All you have to do now is just offer your prayers to him. And also, just allow, allow, allow him to do it. It's okay, okay? It's okay. <laughs>
let me tell you a folk story like I used to tell you when you were little and I was healthy. <clears throat> In an ancient kingdom, a hunter woke up one morning and decided to go in search of death. He had no bow, no arrow. In fact, he had no weapon at all. But he had a little bag in his hand. Do you know what was in the bag? No, grandmother. Tell us, Snip. In the bag, he had laughter, joy, and happiness. Laughter? Joy? Yes. Those were his only weapons against the monster called death. So, the battle began. Death threw sorrow at the hunter. The hunter attacked sorrow with joy. Sorrow departed. Next, death came up with pain. And the hunter went down into his bag and came up with happiness. Pain became powerless. And he went Now, death now flexed his muscles. He's the big monster. He grabbed the hunter by the throat. He wanted to choke him. And the hunter looked at him and laughed at him. So, Ne, hmm? what happened next? Did the hunter die? No. Laughter laughed at death. When death now stung and found out there were no tears, that instead of tears, he was being laughed at, he left the hunter and ran away. Mm. Is this a true story? Yes, but it happened a long time ago. Mm. When we laugh at death, it loses its victory and bites. When we make light of our problems, they cease to bother us.
my son works. How do I find him in this madness of people? Now let's look for somebody to ask now. Eh? Yes. Hello? Uh, excuse me, hello? Hello? every other person I have seen in this park. Yeah, there's noise over there. Let's, let's go and look for him there. Yeah, okay. Even in a fight. God forbid. May it not be our father. God forbid. Eh? Hey! and I have traveled a long distance. Hey, Rufo, you can't find daughters here. Yes. Eh? Yes. Wife material. Mind yourself. Oh. Yes. I said, just mind yourself. Sorry, sorry. You won't make me start her. No, 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 no. Hey, you can't find her. No, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Mind her. Sorry. No, mind for you. Like what? Uh-uh. Village things. There is plenty of food in the village. And first too. Rufus, no be too. <laughs> uh, it's true. It's true. Anyway, Mama, you are welcome. It's just that you people took me by surprise. You should have told me you are coming. Huh? Papa, is this where you live? How can he live here? Mm -hmm. I'm sure we just came here to eat before he takes us home. Oh, eat here. Jane and Obioma, listen very well. 
This is where I sleep. You hear me? This is my house. Yes. At night, when Beatty and her customers are gone, I come in here and sleep. Who is talking of living? Who lives these days? The important thing is to find a place to lay your head at night. Daytime, everybody's walking. So this is where I live. Anything? Rufus. Hello. You are joking, huh? <coughs> joking? You are playing. After 17 years? You mean you don't have a house in the city? Mama, with what will I use to hire a house in the city? Money from this uh, motor park that work I'm doing? Mama. If you say I went to school, I just passed at least a uh, standard one, then it would have been a different case. Of course. Did I not send you to school? After your father died, did I not sell palm kernel, palm oil, popo, ugu leaves, anything I can lay my hands on just to send you to school? The same way I am doing with these two daughters of yours that, that, that you abandoned for me to cater for. Did you agree to go to school? Did you not drop out, preferring to hot bush rat? Nets enough. Don't cry for him. Okay, Oma. Stop. You know Nell will cry even more now if you start crying. Stop it, please. I am a fatherless girl. I don't have a father. I don't. <laughs> oh. 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 So this is what you all of you plan to come and do to me in the city, eh? <laughs> to come here and cry and embarrass me. Eh? Alright. You people cry. When we finish crying, eh? I'm going to load my motor. Eh? The motor I'm loading is ready. When I finish loading, then you can come and tell me why you have come. Wait, what? Nah, yeah. Let's just tell him why we came but here. Obviously, we can't spend the night in the city now. Uh, There's even no place for us to spend past the night. Or pass it down. Come here to cry. Nealis is sick. Very sick. We need to raise a lot of money for the operation that will save her life. What's wrong with her? She has cancer of the breast. And unless we raise over 200,000 naira within 60 days, it may be too late to save her life. That is why we have come here. Is there any way you can raise the money? Even from your savings? Hey, how can I get 250,000? Hey, Chinek. Even come home to pay for house rent. Hey. Hey. Mama? Mama? Yes, we can get the money. We can get the money. Let us sell that our land at near the Bumbush. The one behind the village elementary school. You know, it's, it might be if we sell it. We Which can get Ibom land. The one behind the elementary school now, you know it now. Have you forgotten that you have sold it to the Nanyelogo family permanently? Just like you sold all other pieces of land that we had. I forgot. I... Well, lie, Mama, eh? That now you go. Now, devil, go, go, punish him. You must die. Devil man, pay me devil money. Cost money. What I did with that 150,000 naira, how it fit out with that man, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, like, God must punish him. Papa. No, devil must punish him. Papa. What about the other pieces of land you've sold? Did you save the money? Did you? Obioma, be careful. Just be careful. Don't
don't insult me, you hear me? You can't come to, from, from, from the village to come here and insult me. And you have no right to put your mouth when I'm talking with my mother. You have no right at all. This is my mother. No force. Mama. Are we going to get the money for the operation? Or do I start preparing to die? So, hey. Hey. Hey, Beati, please, serve the rice. One more meat, Vico. Hey, let me just go and know, sit somewhere and know what to do with my life. And see how I can raise this money. What will I do? Hmm. Hey. Oh, yeah. Mama, you people should eat, oh. When you finish eating, uh, if you wait for me and it's getting dark or getting late, eh, you can go back. I will come next tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow or next, hmm. to bring you whatever I can get, oh, Mama. Papa. What about our transport fare back to the village? We spent a lot of money to get in, three of us. We can't team, bro. Hi, we can work. I'm going to Silas. You see that guy I was fighting with? The guy who my hundred naira. I'm going to collect that hundred naira. And that hundred naira is to pay for your food. So unless you people don't want to eat, then when I collect it, I add this fifteen naira so that you can go back with it. Don't worry. No problem. We'll find our way back to the village. Thank you. No. Just eat. I'm coming. That is something. I'm coming. Jay, did you notice? He kept referring to us as you people. That is it now. He's not part of us. Hey! He's a stranger.
grandmother. Yes. I'm disturbed. If we don't raise the money, grandmother will die. Jen, what are we going to do? Grandmother is the only one we have in this world. Is she still awake? No, she's still sleeping. Poor Ne. The journey exhausted her. I've been thinking. Papa has sold everything we have. Our lands, our fruit trees, among other valuable things. Yet, there is something we did not sell. What is that? He sold everything. Nothing is left. Our house? Yes. Papa didn't sell it. We can sell it and save Ne's life. Please. Should have gone this early to reunite with around. No, I don't think so. Hmm? Look, the pair is missing. She has gone out. There's only one place she will go this early to the bushes to pick palm nuts. Jane, I hate to think of what she goes through to buy me school book and pay for my school fees. Selling palm nuts picked from the white bush, palm, kernel, and white fruits. That was how she paid for my fees till I finished secondary school. I know how it hurts to see an old woman suffer for you. This is your final year. Soon you'll be out of school and stay with her while I go to the city and get a job. We'll then be able to take care of her and pay her back for all the things that she's done for us. Maybe when you get to city and get a job, then I'll come and get a job too. She will come and live with us. She will not do anything, no. She will just rest. She will just be drinking milk, cake and malt while we work for her. It's true. Hmm. We are forgetting again. Forgetting what? Nay is dying. There is no future. We will never be able to pay her back. No. She can't die. We'll let her die. We will sell this house. But first we must inform her. Which brings us the question of where has she gone to? I don't know. I don't know. I have been talking with my husband. There is no money. We cannot afford to pay more than the amount I priced initially for these rubbers. Which is how much? 20,000 naira for six of them. Angela. 
These are six of my best wrappers that my late husband bought for me. They are their collection, which I have treasured and kept for over 50 years. Please, make me a better offer. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this is the much I can afford. I don't want to owe you. You know, this is village. Nobody has money. The rich ones are in the cities. Don't mind our fine house. It was only built when things were good. Come inside, let me go and pay you. That is if you have agreed on the 20,000 Naira. Angela, can you lend me some money? How much? Pay me 25,000 Naira for the wrappers and lend me 10,000 Naira, making 35,000 Naira. Where will I get that kind of money? Hmm? Don't worry. I will add 5,000 Naira to the 20,000 I priced, making it 25,000. That is the much I can afford. What do you say? The day is just beginning. And I know you have a lot of things to do. of other people's problems. Human nature is like that. Mm. Do you blame people? Times are tough. Things are even more difficult for the people we think that are rich. It is hard to maintain a status and keep living the way we do. Pay me what you want to pay. Okay, let's go inside. Have you gone to school yet? No, today is a public holiday now. Where are you coming from? Hmm? Hmm? The activities of an old woman are too many to start naming them. You're welcome. Oh, Jane, I was just about asking for you. Um, are you two eating? Of your man, I have something to tell you. All right. My two granddaughters say they have something 
to say to me. Right? My ears are wide open. No. I love you very deeply. In view of your health and the doctor's warning, only a fool will leave any stone unturned in order to save not just a life, but the life of a precious grandmother like you. Hope your man and I have decided that this our house will be sold and the proceeds used to cater for your surgery. With the remaining, we shall relocate to the city. I'll get a job and take care of you and Obioma till she's through with school. Then she too will get a job and all, all will be well with us again. Mm. My blood runs cold. God forbid that I render the two of you homeless, rootless, without a homestead to come back to, all because I want to save my life. This house will not be sold. Never. Nay, your life comes first. Before a house, only those who are alive live in a house. Don't deprive us of the only person who truly loves and cares for us. If you die, Deprived us of love. <laughs> if you die, you've deprived us of care. <laughs> it is not losing this house that will make us ruthless. It's losing you. Please. But I am old. How many more years have I got to live? Even without cancer. As many as God gives you, Ne. And I know God has given you many years. Years upon years. Tens of years upon tens of years. Those are wishes, Jane. Mere wishes. I'll be gone in about three months. You keep talking like this, Ne. What about hope? Faith? Will? Power? What about belief in God? God is a God of life and death. He gives life gives death. But we choose life with me. If selling this house will straighten our choice of life, then let our legs move with our decision to find a buyer. I've already made arrangements to raise money. If I succeed, I'll be happy. If I don't, my only regret will be leaving my two granddaughters behind. No. You told us a story about laughing at sorrow. Let us laugh at sorrow now. Sell this house and win it. No. We shall laugh at some. We shall not sell this house. 
I shall not break. I shall not panic. I will be brave. I shall not fear. And when the time comes for me to die, I will be brave in the grave so that the two of you living in this house will look at death in the face and say, Death, where is thy sting? Forgive me for selling these wrappers, which you sweated to buy for me with your love and hard work. I wish to die and join you at the place where you have gone. But for the sake of these little ones, whom I love so much, Obioma and Jean, it is for them I wish to stay alive a little bit longer to shepherd them from the evils of their age and see them safe and happily married in their husband's houses. It is for them I wish to stay alive. It is for them I am selling these wrappers that you bought from me. Uh-uh. Me, Alice, are you going out? No. Uh, but yes. But, but you are back so early. Did you see your sister's principal? And did you ask her to give us more time so we can come and pay her school fees? I did. Where are you going to me? Why are you bringing out all these wrappers you said were bought for you by grandfather? You don't intend to pawn them to raise money, do you? It's worse than pawning. I want to sell them. <sighs> nah, what could you? How could you? I know how much you treasure these wrappers. Hey, Grandfather will be turning in his grave. No, no, he won't. I've explained to him. It is my life. My grandchildren are still young. I need to guide them from the evils of maidenhood. Yeah. Please, let us sell this house. It is less painful than to sell these wrappers your late husband bought for you as an emblem of his love. Please. I've already sold six of them. I, I, I raised 25,000 Naira. We can use part of that to pay uh, uh, Obioma's SSCE's fees. And the rest we save for the operation. Why? 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 We will raise the money. We will raise the money. Obioma and I you will raise the money. <laughs>
Yes, can I help you? Please, sir. I'm here to ask for your help. My grandmother needs to undergo a surgery. Please, sir. Whatever you give can go a long way. Begging in this village? Th that, that culture is strange to us. We don't beg here. Don't, don't you have relatives like father, brothers and sisters? I can't answer all that now, sir. Please, sir, for God's sake, help me if you will. Please, go to your relatives if you need help. Uh-uh. Don't you go to them for help? Uh, stop, stop embarrassing yourself here. By the way, where are you from? I'm from Osa, the neighboring village. Eh. Then why can't you do the begging in that, your own village? Because of shame, sir. Shame is shame everywhere. Whether you do the begging here or you do it in your own village. <laughs> sir, so you won't help me? Go to your relatives. Inside now, come inside. What's wrong with you? You want money, not so. I want money, sir. Please, I don't have to come inside. Help me here. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If you want money, you come inside now. We help ourselves. Or <laughs> am, am I ugly? I don't know, sir. Please, just help me, please. As you find rich, you don't know what you want. <laughs> when you know what you want, I mean, you come and get it. <laughs> I don't have much. Take this 200 naira. But you must be very prayerful. God is the master healer, not the doctors. Thank you very much, sir. God will bless and reward you. It's all right. You, you must go now. Just be very careful. Eh? Thank you, sir. begging but still we barely have up to 17,000 naira 
Honestly, sister, I've lost my faith in this method of begging you. But we don't have a choice. Tim here. Yeah. I've never felt so humiliated in my life. Begging must be the most shameful thing to do. Beggars on the streets are really trying. It's not easy. Sometimes to even look into the faces of the people I beg for money. To see their eyes laughing at me or looking down at me or, or pitying me. It kills me. But what can we do? For Unne Alice's sake, I am willing to die such deaths of shame many times over. I have no pride left. And it's even worse for me. Sometimes I bump into my schoolmates. I met to yesterday. Did they laugh at you? <laughs> I try to hide my face with my headscarf so that they won't recognize me. But still, they did. But they didn't laugh at me. And what did they do? <laughs> Sister, I need to see. They looked like they had seen a ghost. They could not believe their eyes. I ran as fast as I could away from that place. Oh, God. <sighs> so, what are we going to do? Do we quit? Do we stop? If we quit, Grandmother will die. God forbid. No. Grandmother won't die. We won't stop. We have to try harder. We can't stop. We'll rest today, tomorrow, when you return from school. We'll go again. This time, we'll go together. If we are two, it will reduce the shame. At least, we'll have each other. Oh. Oh. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. I'm not well. Uh, huh? You what? I'm not well. Uh, the governor is not feeling well. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is that? Oh. How, how, how exactly do you feel? How, how do you feel? Huh? I feel weak. I'm dying. Hey, please don't die. My body is not my own. Oh, please help me. We have to take her to the hospital. Uh, um, help me. Let us make her stand. Uh, can you stand? Please. I don't uh, think so. Uh, God. Okay, go, go, go and call the hospital. Uh, go to the hospital, go and call the doctor. Maybe there's an injection he can give to her before we can move her. Eh? Go, go. Nee, please don't die. We love you, please. Nee. Just go, 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 go. Nee. You'll be all right, eh? Nee. You'll be all right. Come in here. Nee, please, we love you. You'll be all right. Just go. Just go. Just go.
You girls did well to call me when you did. You see, your grandmother's immediate problem now is not the lump on her breast directly. It is BP. Her blood pressure has risen so high. Maybe as a result of uh, too much thinking and worry over her health problem. She has been worrying too much. And she needs to reduce her thinking. Anyway, I've placed her on Minizide. And I believe uh, her blood pressure will soon come to normal. I will admit her and I also monitor her for the rest of the day. Thank you, Doctor. I'm grateful for your prompt response and how you drove down with my sister to rush grandmother to the hospital. <laughs> you don't have to bother about that. You see, we have started treatment. Yes. But we need some money deposit in order to continue. Just about 7,000 Naira. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Oh, thank you so much, huh? Um, uh, doctor. Eh, yeah, mama? Please, come inside. My granddaughters and myself would like to tell you something. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cut a long story short, Doctor. We have been able to raise the sum of 53,000 Naira for the surgery. We know it's not enough, but is there a way you can talk to them to accept it and, and carry out the surgery and save Ne's life while we keep paying the balance relentlessly and, and gradually until it is complete? Please, you are a doctor. If you appeal to your colleagues, they will listen to you. Pack that one for me. 
This one. Your bag is too small for all the things you want to take with you. Should I put some of your sweaters in my own bag? Yes, thank you, my daughter. Okay. We are almost packing the whole household. The way we are going, I'm sure that hospital will not contain us. Jane, do you blame us? The doctor said I will have to stay in the hospital for one week after the operation. Ne. That is the period in which they are going to monitor your progress towards full recovery. It is not a period for you to be doing fashion parade. Ne. Ne is a stylish woman. Haven't you noticed? Hey! You <laughs> quick! Hey! I bet you children leave me alone. So you think because I am old now? You think I did not have my youthful days? Hmm. Hmm. All the things you girls are wearing now, we wore them back in the hey. olden days. Fashion goes in a circle. A style that made waves in the 50s can suddenly surface again in the new millennium. Mm -hmm. um, Nne, please, where are all those your clothes you wore in your days? Why? Ah, uh ah, -uh, now. I need to put them under lock and key now, in a box. Who knows? It can resurface as a new fashion style of the year. <laughs> your sister, Jen. Jen? Okay, hold on. Jen! Jen, oh! Yes? Come on, nurse is here to see you. Nurse, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jen. Is everything all right? Well, yes. Dr. Dika sent me to call you. He said he should call me immediately. According to him, it's very important. Uh, does he want me to follow you right away? I think so. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Uh, Obiama, please tell me that I've come to answer the doctor's call. I'm sure it's just to finalize arrangements for her journey to the hospital in the city tomorrow morning. I won't be long. Hmm? Jane, should I follow you? No, stay at home. Grandmother will need you to help her pack. Hmm? I won't be long. Hmm? No, let's go. I lied to you. I gave you false hope that your grandmother's surgery could be carried out with the little amount you people were able to raise. I'm sorry about that. But the truth is that such a thing is impossible. You people have to come up with at least 200,000 Naira deposits needed. Did you hear me, Jen? Yes. Um, what do you have to say? Nothing. Just want to thank you for everything. Thank you very much. Come on, girl. Don't be like that. Your entire family was looking up to me. Your grandmother, your sister, yourself. There was so much hope in your eyes. What was I supposed to do? Dash your hope and hurt your feelings? No, I couldn't. I only told you people the only thing I knew you all wanted to hear from me then. Here we go again. 
right where we stopped, begging again for money. I feel very angry with the doctor. It is better to be dead than to live in hunger, poverty, and the shame of begging. Shh, don't talk like that. It is mostly those who have suffered some form of hardship, poverty, and shame that make better people. Hardship teaches you to be compassionate towards other people who are suffering hardship. Because you have been there and you know what it feels like. God has a reason for everything. So God has a reason for allowing us to suffer like this. It is to make us better people tomorrow. One who has been in need will be a beggar. One who has known hunger will help a hungry person and so on. Jane, see this car. This can pay the for money. This goes. Hello, angels. Uh, good evening, sir. How do you do? Uh, fine, fine, sir. Um, you need a ride? Uh, sir, please, we need money. Uh, um, sir, please, for for an operation. <laughs> Is that why you stopped us? Just to beg? Yes, yes sir. sir. Man, this is serious. <laughs> sir, please, our, our grandmother is sick. She needs money to go to the hospital. You know, fine girls like you don't need to beg at all. You don't. You know what? Let's get into the car and let's go home and talk. Straight up. We cannot enter your car, sir. We don't even know you. Looks like this kid is this. <laughs> okay, my name is Henry. Uh, I'm from the Wang Kwezadi family. And our family is a popular one, so you have nothing to be worried about. Uh, that is good to know, sir, but still, we cannot enter your car. Then, <laughs> suit yourself. Uh, let's start this thing. Let's <laughs> That's not the one that is even worrying me now. My worry now is how to tell grandmother who has already packed in readiness to travel tomorrow to the hospital that Dr. E.K.'s promises are nothing but a sham. Jane, whatever we are doing, we must break the news to her before tomorrow morning. The less time we waste, the better. We'll... Is that you, Jane? Yes, Grandmother. Good evening. Two people have kept my eyes outside since it began to grow dark. I was just going to go in sight of, uh, in sight of you. Where have you been? There, you need not have worried. We are fine. Your mother was to help me complete my packing for us to go to the hospital tomorrow in the big city. You just came in from uh, Dr. Ike and you rushed out with her. You two are up to something. What is wrong? Obi Mama, mm. tell me. Something is really terribly wrong. Just that you cannot go to the hospital in the city tomorrow again. Why? As 
the doctor picked another date. Yeah, doctor, he came someone me to his office to tell me that he only said it to please us. That he didn't want to dash our high hopes at that moment. He said what to please us? The hospital in the city will not accept payment in bits and pieces. Hey! That is why we went out and stayed this late. We went begging for arms. Hey! Ah! Oh! Oh! Chim! Chim! My own grandchildren begging for arms. My people, <laughs> are you asleep in the land of the ancestors? Can you not see what I am going through? Can you not see my pain? <laughs> oh, dear God. And I am I am packing, packing to go to the hospital. Look at me. Look at me, look at the hospital. Oh, oh, oh God, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I know, I'm a fool. Ooh. I should have known. I should have known that the burdens of life does not fall off one's shoulders on its own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> To be like other girls. Make money. You mean follow men? Yes. Grandmother will die of a heart attack if we do that. Remember how she always advises us to keep our virginity for our future husbands? I know. But she's dying. And nobody to help us. God will help us. When? Jen? Yes. When? I don't know. Those men that invited us to their house today, the ones with the car, they look rich. We don't have to follow them all the way. We can just follow them a little. Maybe they will give us money. Like 20,000 Naira. Men don't give you money if you follow them a little. Men give you money if you follow them all the way. They open their hands only when you open your legs. Who told you that? Grandmother. Tomorrow, I will disobey Grandmother. I shall visit those men. Jane, will you come with me? Jen, I'm not a bad girl, but I won't 
let the only grandmother I have in this whole world die just because I want to remain a virgin. Jane, you're crying. Yes. Why? Because when you go to visit those two young men tomorrow, I will go with you. I'm tired of being a saint too. My grandmother dies. You're crying too. Yes. Be dreaming. Are you not the two beauties my cousin and I met yesterday down the road? You're right, we are the ones. Good afternoon, Harry. Good afternoon. You invited us and we're here. Oh, what? Chike! Chike! Oh, what? Come see America one down. <laughs> Better than Orlando, you're not going to believe her. <laughs> Jacob, hurry up now. Ah, uh -uh. we're the only inside. You work on fast, or better day today. really wrong with you. Are you a kid? Okay, at least take a sip from your drink. I don't know. Alright. What's on your mind? My sister, I'm wondering if she's okay. You're wondering if she's okay? It must be strange. I thought you would be thinking of me when I'm this close to you and you're wondering if your sister is okay. Where, where from I read this guy? Take control. Put me in the driver's seat. No, please. Hi. Okay, okay, see how we're going to do this now. Huh? You, you, how much do you want? Huh? Just give me a hot kiss. <laughs> give Chiki an American hot K I double S. <laughs> and you go home with five grand. No. <laughs> Are we quarreling? Are we? At least, let us see you girls all first. We can still be friends. We can still see some other day. If you want to see us all, no problem. But we're going now. Let's go. That's okay. Cool. Right? Let's
gets you off then. I mean, it's better to be friends before lovers. Let's go. Lovers. But oh, forget this lovers nonsense. First they try to obtain something, then they do shakala. Then you I stop them, come on. A few things, you know, I'm trying to make you understand precisely. Leave me. All you just need to do is sit down. Relax. relax. Why are you getting worked out? Oh, come on. What are you throwing tantrums at an old age for? Well, you're grown up now. Hey. All right, easy. Eh? I want you to understand exactly. Leave that. me now. Uh-uh. Ah, watch out. Why didn't they worry all these babes? Jenny. Sorry about that. Jenny. Jenny. Oh. See, how you? How else do you want me to? Ah. Jenny, relax. What? What's it? Let me worry this way. Jenny. Yeah? If you need some help, man, you've got to give a brother some fun. Jenny. Is this not to be your man, Jane I'm seeing? Who is the old lady? That's her grandmother, please. And don't you call her an old woman. <laughs> but she is. Obiama, Jane, what are you doing along the road with young men? Is this the way I brought you up? Go home now. Both of you, go home. Now! So you two have started craving for women. Hmm? He who craves for a woman must be ready to take a wife and separate himself from disgrace. Please, I warn you, leave my granddaughters alone. They are not spoiled yet. And I don't want the likes of you to spoil them. Or else, I will go down on my knees and beg God to punish you. Ah, Mama. Hey. Mama. What is your name? Chike. And you? Henry. I know the names now. If anything happens to my granddaughters, I know the names to mention. Old woman, man. Let's go, Jerry. Are her granddaughters made of gold? Man, ask me. Or are they the only pretty ones in this community? Man, there are beautiful chicks here. Oh, Kunja are full everywhere. Oh. Why should they behave like this? The rules. And boys That's will arrange one or two things. Oh. Is it because I am sick that you two want to spoil yourselves? Maybe it will not break my heart so much if I knew you two are doing it out of your own free will. But it kills me now. Even more to know that it is because of my sickness both of you have changed for the worst. Even to the point of allowing young men to hold you along the village road without shame. 
Nne. He kept putting his hand on my shoulder and I kept removing it. Sell your bodies in order to save my life. I heard a sound out here. Are you okay? Why are you back from school this early? Eh? The principal sent me out from the classroom. His patience has run out. Said I should come up with my school fees or stay at home. If my school fees is paid out of what we have saved for grandmother's surgery, it further puts her life in danger. I cannot go to school at the expense of her life. Never. You will go back to school, Obioma. I will find something to sell. Your school fees will be paid. We've walked around selling this house long enough. This time I think it has become necessary. Time is running out. Grandmother, what do you think? Ne. I am the bag of sickness that chased the bag of money out. I am the cause of it all. It is happening because of me. 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 Why are you talking like this? Why? Yes. If I wasn't sick and dying, money would not be dry in this house. Obioma's school fees would have been paid. And we would have continued managing the way we have been managing. And this suggestion to sell the house in order to save my life would not arise. So I am the bag of sickness that chased out the bag of money. I am the punctured sack that lets out the grains. I am the vent that faces the bush which lets in putrid and decaying air into the house. 
Now, if you keep talking like this, Obi Oman, I will go inside and sit away from yourself, please. How can you be this hard on yourself? I am the. Ne. I'm. Ne. The... Ne. Ne. What is it? Ne. What is it? Ne. Ne. She's fragile now, and uh, little things will shoot up her PP. I think the earlier this surgery is carried out, the better. I will not admit her because I know you people cannot afford an admission right now. But she has to remain in bed for some days and also avoid too much excitement. Well, I shall look in on her and uh, provide her daily drugs uh, free of charge. You people don't have to pay for that. Thank you very much. Cheer up, both of you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's no problem. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. Give me my bag. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. You will not, I will not let you. What is it, Jen? What is it? Huh? Did you see her grandmother there? Did you hear her braid? Our poor grandmother is dying. I will sit and watch her. No, no. I am going to the city to sell the only thing God gave me. Then I shall make money. Then I shall return and save that poor woman's life. Do you hear me? Only God can save her life. Obioma, I keep telling you. Jen, only Jesus died and rose from death. Grandmother is not Jesus. So don't you expect such miracles. Do you hear me? If Wala had died, she dies. The doctor said what she needed was rest. She will be fine soon. The doctor also said that she will be fine after some days rest. Our grandmother has been lying there for a week. For a week, bedridden. Doctor says a lot of lies. How do I explain your absence? What do I tell her when she wakes up and begins to ask for Obioma? Where do I tell her you have gone? Tell her that I've gone to the city. Tell her that father sent for me to come and take money. Tell her that she shall return with money. And she will see the sun again. A brighter sun. You're asking me to lie to God. You're asking me to lie to Ned.
Father sent for Obioma. It, it was late when the message came, and, and you were asleep, so, so she, she left immediately. Poor child. I hope she finds her way around the city. The city is like a dog, friendly to those it knows, harsh to strangers. Are you alright? Why have you blindfolded yourself? It's that. Come and do what you want to do. I don't want to look at your face. I'm ashamed. There's something I'm not getting clearly here. You're supposed to be a whore. A... Why all this pretense? I'm not pretending, sir. I've never been with a man before. Think of it blindfold. Please, I don't want to see your face. Don't you? 
So how come? How come I find you on the streets? Hanging out the same place we whores hang out? Or what are you doing on the road? I ran away from the village. I came to the city to sacrifice myself. So that I can complete the money needed for my sick grandmother's surgery. Are you telling me that as pretty as you are, as beautiful as you are, you're a virgin, you have kept yourself intact? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. You're not lying to me. Same, if not worse. Oh. Who is he? His name is Prince. Jane. I, I found a suitor. He's a very kind man. Prince. Come and meet my sister, Jane. Jane. Prince. How are you? What's your name? Jane. It's a pleasure, Jane. I'm pleased to meet you. Jane! Prince deserves a hug and not a handshake. He has promised to bring sunlight in our home again. He has promised to pay every kobo on grandmother's surgery. I've been crying out my eyes since last night with joy. Oh. You're joking. No. She's not joking, Jane. I do it. My God. Oh my God. My grandmother will not die. Oh. My oh, grandmother Jen, will not die. Oh, Is your grandmother inside the house? Yes. Yes. <laughs> spread beyond her breast. She's, she's fine now. Oh, she's quiet. Okay. Very she's, right. she's quiet. Okay. Huh. The surgery was carried out just in the nick of time. She's sleeping now. Huh? Yeah, you oh. can come back uh, in another three hours. She'll be awake by then. God, I thank you. Congrats. Thank God. 
It's okay. Okay? Let us um let us thank God who has made it possible for us to find each other in the first place. Okay? When I left the village, I promised my sister that I will bring back a brighter sun when I return. Little did I know that my son will come with a loving and kind-hearted man like you. I've only known you for one week, but it's like forever. Thank you so much. I'm beginning to like you more and more. Thank you. You're smiling at last. Okay, I'm sure grandma will need something. Okay, so I'm just gonna go out there and do some shopping for her. Okay, you, you guys take care now. I'll be right back, huh? All right. Salas, my guy, half an hour. Look, we are boys, not girls. We are, you understand? Mm. Salas, who has all these things? What are you doing with them? My mother is not feeling very well in the village, no us. Your mother? Yes. They came and told me I had only 750 naira in my pocket. So I used 500 naira to buy her a few things. Bread, biscuits, beverage. All these things? Yes. I know I am poor. But let her even see me. And manage the little I have. Like they say, mother is God. If you doubt me, ask those whose mothers have died. Miti, please, where is the rice now? Uh -uh. Take a turn to before you serve me rice. She now? Nestle at the hospital, recovering from her surgery. Surgery? Uh, who paid for that? Hope your master suitor. Hope your master has a suitor? Yes, and a very good one at that. Uh, anyway, I'm happy you came at last.
It is a good thing you cook in the city. Obioma will help you. She's a very good cook. Mama, Mama, Prince does not cook food. He owns a chain of fast food places in the city. He does not cook. Whether you cook food fast or you cook food slow, food is food. <laughs> you, know, you know, Mama is right. I mean, I, I cook food, so yes. food is food. You can't do it. <laughs> Mama. Oh, Jen. Jacob. done a lot better, Mama. I knew I could have been here earlier than now, Mama. I know I should have been here when your tears fell down, Mama. My son. <laughs>